hello, 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 and welcome back. This is Joan with the Jewel Design, and today we're doing a little bit of a monotone thing, duotone thing, um, and maybe this go all goes right. Maybe we'll do, it'll end up being sort of an ode to a little bit of autumn. So today uh, we are taking a Colgate bag that actually came from the dentist, so sort of a pharmacy type bag, um, and we're going to take turn it into a three pocketed um, Z fold folio accordion thing um, and just make it a little journal card holder so it'll take two journal cards on top one down the side and if it goes right I'll probably put a small pocket here to put some smaller um, embellishment type things but if we do this right we'll have a front cover um, inside might be you know more de uh, writable you know decorative all that jazz so we're gonna get the basics done today for sure um, and then we'll see where it leads in the sense of autumn I think I definitely want to put some of my Milva, um, if I have any, uh, Milva Rose Autumn Kit journal cards. These are smaller ones, not the big ones, because my big ones are about four up, and that's definitely bigger than this. But my six ups are about this size, so if we tab them, add to them, maybe expand on them a little bit, I think we'll get what we need out of it. And as usual, I've left glue in the house because it's been warm, so one sec, I'll be back in a blink of an eye. See, blink of an eye. It didn't even know I was gone, right? Well, I'll work on the film. So as usual... Um, if you're new to me, or new to this, or just remembering, um, it's always best when we're working with uh, pharmacy bags and paper bags that if we're using them as our base, it's good to try to glue down a lot of the odd little folds that are pretty loose to make them flexible um, when they're being used as a bag. So I will fold down, you know, the parts that I do not want to open up, parts I do not need to be expanded on. Um, I always do. I try to go in here and clean them up because, you know, it's only going to make it hard because we don't usually wrap anything up and over or around to sort of seal it off. Now, what I did very carefully was I barely snipped an edge and cut it across, but only to here. I did not go all the way in. I didn't go all the way over because then they would flap open due to this pocket. And I don't want to lose this. I love the edge. We covered in lace. And so it makes it a side Talk, uh, side tuck pocket um, and if we do a tab on the end of the and the end of the side of the journal card you know it gives us some um, dimension so these top ones of course will be filled with tags with tabs on them um, I don't I don't make tags oh well, no I do make tags this tags this small too so drilling tags drilling cards so maybe we'll take the drilling tags and because they already have your sort of tab like feel but we'll look to see what we have or I will make more but when I'm working with a pharmacy bag or, you know, lunch bag or whatever, I definitely try to make sure that things are glued down. So it makes it a lot easier to cover with paper um, and just to work with it going, oh, it's great. And then there's this loose spot and you're like, why is that flapping open? So it, it just sort of, I don't know, it also I think helps like um, stabilize, you know, your base. So things aren't so um, flimsy. Hope you're all doing very well. Uh, let's see where we at. Oh gosh, I think it's Thursday. Thursday, yes. Sort of lost track. The Thursday morning, so we're prepping for next week in a way that I'm like sort of just. Uh, normally we go back to school shopping and all that jazz, but I asked what my oldest, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm good right now." Like she's like, "Um, I don't have a lot of clothes. I, I don't have a lot of clothes. She's like, I have clothes to get by, get started. We'll see how it works. Sometimes both my sort of like to start to see what's going on, what's how things are going." We're hoping, fingers crossed, that things stay cool. We're only looking at an average of 80 degrees next week, which is just godsend. Oh, because usually it's like 90 to 95, even 99 on that first week of school. So it's early. You know, we're going to school early, so I don't know. But if you're new to me, thank you so much for joining in, stopping by, looking to see what I'm up to. I am a junk journaler and graphic designer. So I sit here and will use you know, uh, we call junk mail, meaning literally the stuff you get in the mail. Sometimes the stuff you get from other resources, we get hordes of it, right? From envelopes, bags, um, yeah, sometimes it's postcards and who knows what, but we try to use it, re sometimes we'll try to use it and revamp it, upcycle it, repurpose it. Sometimes they're brand new because we love the effect, but we turn, you know, make it vintage. We do a variety of things with a variety of items. And then we take things like scrapbook paper, printed pages, um, digital art that myself, I also design. Uh, this is not, this is my porch prints, I believe. Yes, this is my porch prints. Um, 
She had some vintage pages that I bought because I just don't have any of them. Um, they're sort of just clustered duotone pages that I wanted for really simple things. And I had printed them for another project and this was my leftover scraps. So what I'm doing is using those leftover scraps to cover the base, which is the bag, and give me a base to decorate and find a direction in. I wasn't sure exactly what until uh, last night. And I was like, you know, I wonder if I have any autumn stuff. I, want, I mean, I have autumn stuff, but I'm, I didn't know if I had any autumn um, leftovers. Sorry, I got to turn a bunch of fans on. It's a little warmer than I like in the garage, and I did not prep early. I know better. It's, it's just terrible. Um, but I did realize I had some kits left over, so I'm hoping we have some things. All right. Now, this one, I don't remember if I'm going to go all the way over, so I have to look. So these pages that I have are uh, bits and pieces. They were uh, journal pages. They were vertical pages. They were mini books, um, misprints, things like that. Now, this one is the one I think fits nicely right in here. Or I'm going to do the backside. Hold on, let me look. Um, that's the inside. Yes, backside. I think if it's just right, if I'm careful in how I trim it, that even if I don't, um, and we fold it down the middle and put it in here, this is going to be our writing. It's sort of like a, because the journal cards inside will be something of a writing board, sort of. It depends how much we decorate them. But you could take the cards out right on these two pages, because these are beautiful pages to write on, nice and easy. Um, and I figured, well, I might as well utilize this, though it's, and then this little strip, yeah, put it aside. You never know what journal cards, or we back this something with it. So that was the inside, and then the front, up in. I want this floral thing here, and I want to expand on it. I really want to, and it just fits. Rip it, tear it, put this on here. I don't think I can fussy, oh, maybe. I might fussy cut a little bit, but I don't think so, because I really don't want the white. I just want it as a base to barely see, is it for some level, so for some layering. But I thought we'd rip this and then I could we could then fall up on top of this. So I have some pumpkins and leaves and things that are glittery and pretty and die cuts that I may then, you know, cluster on top of this, depending which journal cards we use on the inside. So that's the front. So then the inside, I think about I thought about using these guys. Because I know I need something to work with. And so we might go across here and maybe we'll tear it and put something different on the bottom because I want, I do want to try to put a pocket in here. So, I wonder if we went long ways, and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. We go this way, maybe. Yeah, this half page, I think, fits this side and leaves it plain over here to where I could put a pocket and we could tuck it in, and this is more decorative on this side to stay on its own. So, okay, we're getting there. But using scraps, leftover pages that I have, and I'm just utilizing them. So, let's start ripping. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I really am. I really do. Um, we are, well, we're only on, what, the 8th of, 8th of August? Not too bad. Not getting too far. The birthday party went off with a bit, without a hitch. A little sleepover, so, you know, three friends over, makes them four girls, me and my daughter, me and my oldest, just binge watch whatever else. You know, all, they were outside, out in their thing. Easy peasy, you know, um, you know, what are the pizza, you know, slushies, Angel food cake was the birthday cake, which was really easy. I cheated. I bought it. <laughs> I don't have the pan. I was. I do not have the dump, dump type pan or whatever to make angel food cake. Um, I think I wanted to one year, and my girlfriend had the pan, and she's like, "Oh, I'll make it. I'll like that'll be my contribution. Like that'll be my birthday gift." I'm like, "Oh, sweet, thank you." But then I realized now that she wants it, she's like, "Oh, I'm like, I don't have that. I have the proper pan to do cheesecake, but I don't have the proper pan to make angel food cake." My best friend, one of my best, one of my many lifetime friends, um, longtime friends, actually um, used to make it all the time. It was one of her favorite things to make and eat. Um, and I think she still makes it for her mom because I think it's you can do it pretty sugar free, and um, you know it's really light and airy and all that jazz. So we just put whipped cream and a bunch of fruit on top and made her blow out a one and a three because I didn't have, I did not want to hold candles. It's so light and airy. I'm like, hmm, candles on an angel food cake is a little hard. Um, and I didn't leave it in the pan upside down because I didn't, I thought, oh, it's really hard to cut. I don't know. It, but it worked out. It all good. Okay. And that is a lot narrower than I realized if I need, I needed that line. Ah! Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about that. We can do a little bit more ripping and finessing. This one I could put a pocket over. Not a big deal. This one, this might get, we may lay this back in. 
so let's see what we can do here. We're going to try to line this up. I'm going to do it the other way so I can see what I'm doing. We know it's going to fold, and so I'm going to go a little bit more than I think I need because we know how this goes. Cross folds. I would normally not do across the fold, but I do want to sort of um, work that a little bit to um, fold, you know, fold it across and. Uh, I'm debating on on the inside here because it's open. This one I don't need to worry about, but this one I'm thinking before I do anything else actually is putting glue down the fold, bringing it together, right? So that the journal cards don't slide around inside. I have a feeling if I don't, I'm gonna be constantly frustrated because every time you slightly open up this darling ordeal, these journal cards are gonna move around. And that sort of ruins the pretty effect. Ah, thanks. So we're just gonna do a light little bead right down the middle. Now I'm using the one that has more of a valley um, and not the reverse. So that um, maybe it'll, the glue will sort of stay in that little pocket. Because I don't really want to shrink up my width, but I definitely don't want to. Yeah, there we go. That way, too, less likely to rip. Let's see, where is my bone folder? Oh. Yeah, so without doing too much, because you know how this goes, I always do this. I get in there too soon and I pop out my, my glue. Pop my glue right open. So let me leave that out, actually. All right, so there we go. Oh, I love white bags. Not always keen on the red spots, but, you know, what are you going to do? That's why we do what we can, so that we can hide as much as we can of that. I don't mind the little hints of white. It's so pretty. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm partial to that. I can't help it. So we're at a partial to the white bags, um, which is why I love the, like, the journal kit and some of the other things that we have. Now, I can do this on top, or I can do it underneath. What do we want to do? Let me get a little bit. Because we'll put a slightly larger something. We'll see what tweaking I have. I think we'll have some other pages later. We'll do a slightly angled, maybe, pocket here. So it looks like we're purposely um, collaging a little bit. Because I think that'll help. The will be... One downside of that is... We will have up. I can try to do it at the seam so we don't see it. Mm -hmm. I hate to do it. Or I wonder. Ooh, that might line up nicer. Then we'll do it on that side so it's not so obvious. And then this one is gonna pop up. So see, all those little things. You never know. Yes, there'd be a line because it's been inked, but I'm okay with that. I'm like, mm, I think I'm okay with that. I hope you're all doing well. I don't know if you're ready for fall yet. Or, I mean, well, not physically ready for fall. Well, I think we all are. I think we're sort of done with the with the heat. We went from winter to summer. What about you guys? We didn't, we didn't have much spring. We had very we had sort of a wet spring, and then there was just sort of summer. And we're like, wait, what? The, what, huh? what? Why? No, wait a minute. We weren't really ready for that. We didn't really get much spring. So we had a lot of late summer, late winter, you know, storms. You know, a lot of us did. So. Um, in the West Coast, we're not doing, you know, the same thing, not much less. So, um, now I am gluing on the paper, or on the bag, not so much the, um, on the bag more than the paper itself. Um, I think that way, you know, if I need to, then I'll touch it up. But everybody's different, everybody can, has their own pre preference, whether they glue the page that they're on, or whether they glue the base that they're putting it on. I think it really do doesn't really make a huge difference. Um, I have to decide where the fold is. I'll sort of utilize that as a helpful as a helpful hardwood store. Helpful neighbor. Sorry. Ace logo was going through. Ace hardware Le Lego. Bleh. Ace hardware um, slogan was going through my head. It's our it's our um, know, hardwood store. All your DIY go get it, you know, needs. Yard and all that jazz. So anyway, that's right. That was going through my head. Um, helpful. Helpful, helpful neighbor. All right, so we're going to keep folding it. We're going to keep working it so that the fold sits there and I know it's not going to rip and it's going to hold out. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, we go here, get the corners. So we got our first inside, and yes, yeah, so when we get going, whether it's a fall 
piece of paper or something left over from our covers, we'll do a slightly angled pocket here to put some embellishments. I'm bound to have small pieces left over or small pieces that will match the journal cards that are going to go in here. And so I definitely want to add those to this, this pocket, this back side. This back side will have its, you know, sort of dual pocket here full of things. This way, isn't that, this is nice and simple. We'll see if it do anything with it. Maybe not just because there's so much else going on. We don't want it too bulky. But I'm liking how that's sort of blended in, right? It's, at least blends a little bit better. Plus helps us with a, a smoother, con, you know, connection to our pocket. But, you know, turn it sideways. You can't read it. I mean, the graphic is either upside down or backwards. You can't tell what it is. So I just love that it's just sort of hieroglyphic y. And there's a tree there and maybe... Yeah, tree branches, so it's so pretty. I can see fall in just about anything. I'm happy. Okay, so this one, it's gonna be fun trying to rip this. I think I'll take the, um, get my small Tim Holtz because that's gonna be a lot more productive trying to get that out than I am getting, trying to rip it by hand because that's just not gonna fly. Now this piece right here might be our fun, our fun pocket piece. Um, if I want to bring the outside, you know, front cover inward, it might be what we need. I can always, I'm like, I love when I see stuff, but my Tim Holtz is not holding up. Eek. For a while there, I did everything. All right. Good enough. Good enough for government work, as they say, or used to say. I don't think they say it much anymore. Heard it a lot when I was growing up. It's my dad's favorite. One of my dad's favorite, uh sayings when we would be working on stuff. Good enough government work. It's like, yep. Okay, so let's keep to this theme here. We'll use this deckled edge cutter and we're going to definitely cut underneath that line. Nice and thin and smooth. Haha. -ha. I'm going to line up on the bottom. because That's where my straighter haha -ha edge might be. I always hope that that's what is going on, but I cut that one so maybe we'll go off that. Do that. Make sure it's good, not too small, which can be a little small, but that's okay. I'll just do a little bit more inking around the edges and I'm thinking right inside that line that has a dot, like a pencil mark. I probably did that earlier, who knows? Definitely gonna go inside that. It happens sometimes, I think things fold, like your pages, they fold, they move, and then you don't have what you need. They move around and, all right, what are we doing? But you know what I can do is put it up and I can always put more of a lace piece down the, down the bottom and whenever we cluster we will sort of work in on maybe a little bit more lace or burlap or whatever on the bottom to give it that more harvesty feel. So that's all good. So I do have that and I have this. Of course not in the direction I want. Darn it. I was going to say if it was the other way around the angle is this way it'd be perfect but you never know. But it won't go to waste. I use everything. Sooner or later. Not as often as I like. There are times like, you know, I have a pile of scraps. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, from the altar book right now. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah, my altered altar book scraps right now. Like, man. But we'll see. I hope I will continue as we're because we have to do a lot of stuff with those and I got the journal cards and all that jazz. And so, you know, it really does need to be you utilized in some fashion, so we'll get there. I did pull out my orange ink, but I think right now um, it's going to be more for journal cards and anything we need to enhance orange on top of all of this. But right now we're going to keep it antique -y because I really want to um, not be able to do a little bit extra in here, just toning down the white a little bit more because this is smaller um, than we realized. I'm putting my embossed napkin right behind it. <laughs> so that if it gets a little extra something on it, not a big deal. But I just want to tone down that white just a little bit just in case. So if there's just a little too much white showing, I'm not feeling too bad about it. Make brushes are nice to do it with sometimes because it's softer and it's not so obvious if you happen to get a little too much ink on something. Okay, so 
So, as usual, taking junk mail or you know, instead of you know, recycling it in a way that is more effective than just throwing it in the. Now, because I am off on this and I know it's smaller and it's not going to go perfectly centered, I am inking the paper and not the bag this time. Not inking, uh, gluing. I'm going the other way around with it, right? Okay, there's that. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'm going to have to refill that glitter glue here real quick. Mm, there we go. Beep, 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 beep. Um, sure, let's do that. Ah! We're not going to worry about perfection, not too much. Like I said, we can cluster and we can put some lace in places and that'll help with any slightly off-sided ordeals. Eek! Sorry guys, trying to put the needle in the hole. There we go. Okay, so. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Did I just put that upside down? I did. Oh no. <gasps> no, wait. Yes, I did. Oh. Oh, I didn't even look. I did that side correctly. Uh, it's warm out. So, yeah, no. Okay, then. Well. Why would... Yeah, that's upside down. Because I forgot that the... It opens up this way, and then you have the back side. Oh, man. Okay, so we definitely need to layer and tweak and hide the fact that it's upside down. I don't mind doing some floral upside down, because you can get away with some of it. So if we put enough up here, and we do some down, like we do some place, we do some very strategic placing, you almost won't be able to tell it's upside down. Almost. Darn it. I hate when I do that. No, and I kept thinking about it going, gotta remind ourselves, gotta remind ourselves, make sure we put it on in right. On right. Because there are tops. See? There are tops. And I might, on this back side, put the holes, the little thumb notches on the back, not the front, or inside. Because, um... I was inking it and I didn't even look to see where this ended up. Because this would have been my indicator. This is where, you know, it needs to be. Okay then. Well, that definitely, um... <laughs> uh, oh well. This tiny little word that says top up here. So that as I'm going along, I'm not using that as a reference. I'm not using the picture as a reference to do the front and back. So, I can put a piece of paper here, I can put just lace here, I think the back will try to cover and cut all the way over, if I can, um, which is why I don't have a piece of, I don't have paper for the back yet, do I? Oh. Um, and then on the inside here, we'll put lace, and then the, the business card, or the journal card will also have another tab of some sort, so that will, um, you know, sort of have co cover up and reduce the white. Because we can go, you know, cream and light, well, heavy in the sense of it's wide with the lace, oh, pink on that, um, with something like this where, you know, we do it, we cut it, and it definitely covers, but shouldn't get in the way of, you know, the ordeal. All you do is something lighter, but this isn't wide enough to, well, it covers for the most part. I think I have a wider one with the, with the cream blended in. And that might be the better bet, too. So we have two options. So we do have some room to maneuver on that one. Some room to decide. But I just realized, yeah, I don't have a back page. And I just ripped this bag. So we just put a little bit of glue right there on that edge. To help seal it. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. It's still the hard when you're trying to shove something in there. And bags do not keep from ripping very easily. So I do need to pick this back page. So I do have to go find something. Because we're doing this on the inside. Now I had... I hate to do more to repeat though. I had that and then... Hmm, I don't know if I want to do a repeat of what's inside on the back. Especially when I'm not repeating this feel on the inside. The other inside. So we have, I feel like we need to find something else. 
I definitely feel like we need to find something else. So let's cut this a little bit and see if it even fits. See if I'm going to have to make adjustments like I did with the inside. Probably do this. Oh, I did it. Yay. So much paper. Oh, but hey, so yeah, so I thought I'd give it a little shot. Do a little autumn, just a little ode to it. Nova's autumn rose is more the coloring because the Nova rose is definitely has a lot of peach and oranges and yellows in it. So that was a fun kit to use, but I have like the lady of ladies of Victorian or Austin, Jane Austen, and sort of the, all that whole week from Gilded Regency and you know Victorian sort of feel inside of that kit, which is really sweet. Well, I don't think I have too much pumpkin in it, but it's very much orange and peach and yellow. So when we get done with this basic covering here, we'll pull what I have of that kit left over and see what we want to do with it how we're going to use it. To. So that is like the other ones, very good. Fold it where it folds. Won't be perfect, but it'll work. And where do we want to end this puppy? Right about there, maybe. Give or take. Yeah. Straight as I can. Ha ha. I'm always trying to, like, going, okay, which one do I want to line up with? Because, well, you know, it's a little hard when things aren't perfectly straight. Even when you're ripping things aren't straight, which is okay because it gives you sort of an interesting, I wonder if, nope, not, not, I mean, I could top, top and bottom and layer over, um, maybe, and then try to like put a, maybe we do a belly band in the middle to hide, or maybe, I don't know, again, we're not repeating too much, so I don't know if I want to, I think if the front's different, the back needs to be different when the insides are, you know, doubled up. So we need to find another piece of paper to see if I have left, what I have left over that maybe is light enough that has this feel of one of my kits to put on here. Okay, let's get the bottom inked because the edges are pretty much dark from the page, the faux page edges, like the book page layering that uh, my porch prints does. So, um, which is not as easy to do as it looks. Definitely need a lot of different images I laid over or find it that was photographed. I try to create a semi, but it's some work trying to do it by by hand and by you know, by scratch without a whole lot of the right elements. So I give her props for what she does. Well, yeah, all of what she does is oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna just center that the best we can. Glue one end, sort of fold it. Glue the other end, and let's make sure. Yep, this is right side up, right? Yep. Not that it couldn't go upside down because of the fact I have it. I could go upside down with it if I wanted to. So it's more like the pages, like the darks are on the outside bottom. Because everything is getting loaded from the top. If I could do that, huh? Could work. Sometimes I don't like it lighter on the bottom. It gets, makes it top heavy. So let's do, let's do it slightly the other way. This is taking up a good portion of the page, so I'm going to put glue definitely on the base here because I need it to really, you know, cover and catch edges as best way I know how. But I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're crafting. Um, this is my little start to the fall deal. Uh, the next video will be a quick share on... Um, the a flip through one more flip through of the fall journal I made a few years back um, with you know one of my Porsche prints uh, kits uh, loved it gorgeous last year we worked on it a little bit trying to get it finished up and then just sort of missed the time frame so it is time for it to go out it needs to find a new home so I'll do a flip through on that and then I did put two fall kits together two fall journal craft uh, bundle kits together uh, with some of my digitals, you know, file folders, bags, goodies, uh, you know, yards of materials, charms, things like that. So, um, hopefully, I guess that, that will also be shown in the next videos. We'll do a quick little autumn share of what's in the shop. Um, the two bundles, uh, the, you know, and anything, whatever you see, some, most of what you see in the bundles are out individually. I did that right, right? Because I wanted it upside down on purpose. Yes. Okay. It's like not again. Okay. So I wanted that where it's lighter on top, especially when it looks, because we're going to put the holes in it. So it feels more like the opening to the top of this, right? 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So that's going to be in the next video. I'll do a quick um, share, autumn share. But getting those things together made me want to work on like, well, I was just going to do this and I was just going to add whatever to it. And then I was like, why not make it fall? Why not do a little eau de fall, a little eau de autumn? You know, we're not there yet, but I know a lot of start. Shoot, Starbucks starts, you know, end of August. They start doing their P PSL. So come on, you know, why not? Even it is. Surprisingly, our Safeway is actually already carrying some of the, both the fall and the pumpkin spice um, Keurig pods. The problem is, like, they'll be there now and, like, in a month, three weeks, we won't see them. They will be nowhere to be found. So it's really weird how that is um, trying to pan itself out. So we're all pushing for fall a little too soon, but in some areas. Craft areas, I think we have to start now. We just do. We have to start with supplies. We have to start with design, you know, with crafting because, you know, so when the, the, the basic general public wants to make something or wants to buy something, it's ready to go. We already have it in the shop. We already have it prepped and ready. Otherwise, we miss the mark. So here we are. And I just saw that my Porch Prince was doing a collaboration with a bunch, with a number of YouTubers. So next week, starting Sunday, this Sunday, um, there will be a number of fall related YouTube uh, videos. So I thought that, oops, got it the other way. That was pretty cool. Uh, Gail Gastonelli, Angela Kerr, um, someone else I recognize, besides my, my Porch Prince, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm sort of looking forward to watching those because I was like, hmm, I need some inspiration. I need inspiration. I need to know what's going on, what maybe the new fads are, or what's up, or who's got what going on. I, I keep saying I'm going to create a digital for fall, and I just, I really do. I just actually haven't seen anything. By the time, of course, I see any graphics within my programs, they're already, you know, you guys are we're already past that point, so i got to go looking for it ahead of time. See what I can find or see what I have, or what I can revamp, or... There it is. I'm like, where did that go? Ooh. I just realized that my journal card could actually slide over here. Oh, I gotta do this side, too. Let's see if I can get it in there. I need to do this crevice over here just the same, because otherwise my journal card could, if it's smaller, could slide right into the two... The pockets could slide into each other. And I was looking for that piece of... That this, I was like, oh, wait a minute. That, this pocket could go, keep going right into this pocket, and vice versa. So, that's no good. So, we're going to seal out the basics so that the accordion, though it opens for you guys out here, will not open up and uh, lose our stuff inside. Because that would not be any good. Don't really want your, your ephemera swimming inside your ephemera. <laughs> you don't really want ephemera sliding inside, ephemera, inside your ephemera. So, yeah, I'm so to see that there's some fall f um, crafting going on this upcoming week. I'm sort of stoked, so I'm like, yay. So I feel like, okay, well, I guess I'm right there with some people feeling the need to want to do so, so that's nice. I'm like, okay, well, I like that. That makes me happy. I can see everything right. I'm, not, I'm like, do not tell me I'm out of camera. That would be bad. I've done it. I've been, I've been out of camera. I've been not recording at all. <clears throat> We've done it all, haven't we, people? Yes, it looks like I'm good. Okay. Almost done. We just have to figure what to do with the back. Let me see what's in my folder. I might have something. I just don't want to go too far-fetched, or too far one way where it doesn't quite make sense. Mm. It'd be nice if all the, all the base pieces sort of, you know, went together. I can't believe that's upside down, guys. Ugh. Sorry. I can do three clusters on this thing and be able to, and some mesh, and we can, like I said, we can put something here, something here, something, you know, one, two, and three, and we can hide the fact that it might be upside down, depending, right? Or up the angle a little bit, you know, we can, I know we can cover that. Um, let's see, hold on. Of course not. Yeah, I was looking at the pages that came with this set, and they're already backed front and back, and they are, um, they're, yeah, they're all printed front and back, so I'm like, no, no. Okay, so let's pull the fabric, and I have some stuff in here I see. Oh, that's pretty neutral. A little light compared to everything else, but it's neutral. That has, mm, nope, that has glue on it. 
Let me see. Mm. This is from my um oh pumpkin autumn princess kit. Okay, those are so pretty. But I have smaller versions of journal cards usually, and they may just fit. They may just work in here. Otherwise, I do these, and they do sort. These guys would hide, so that won't work. I need to find my smaller journal cards. I mean, my chart, my smaller, my middle, you know, medium sized tags, and I think that would work. All right, let's see. Let's open up the. <laughs> these we actually had, and I let them dry, flatten them out, and then I went and laminated them. One of these days, I'll use it in some fun fashion. Okay, so my vellum, I have. Um, pumpkin summer kit. Oh, I have to knock everything over. Let's not get everything dirty. I have to see what's in my stash here. So I have this kit, which is a lot of fun. For sort of a summer and pumpkin feel. Which some of these pages are in the new in the new fall kit. This is the kit I'm thinking about. Um Milva's rose, Milva's, Milva's autumn rose kit, and so I could, a little far-fetched, but we could maybe take a corner where, you know, it has a little bit of something in it, and they're all backed, but some of these are having issues, so that's why I probably still have the kit. Um, yeah, they're backed, but, you know, these are all too big, and I don't want, these girls are gorgeous, but and not for what I'm doing right now. Let's see what background pages, there's another one. I could just do the rows to really pull. I could do these guys. <laughs> now, it's a little, it's a little more white. It is the back. You need to definitely cover that up. So I could use, I could just put it on the back and then use that piece also to help with the pocket here. There's that one, or there was the roses, which, where did the roses go? I just had it. Where'd you go? Mm. I think that's really pale compared to everything else, right? There's not enough dark in it. Here I could get, I could take this darker beigey color one and I can even ink over it to darken it up a little bit so it's not so white. And that might help us with this back here. I think we're gonna have to use that. But then let's go to the ephemera for this kit. Let's see what I have. Ooh, I do have stuff. Okay. I'm like, I haven't I used it, but I had it. I think I used a little bit of it, but there's still quite a bit left over. Good. Okay. Let's do this and this. I was off to the side, so it's not in my way. But yeah, this piece is pretty, but it's really, really pale. Might be too pale for to blend in with everything else. I mean, it's definitely in the back. It definitely makes it obvious, but it's almost too... Well, hmm. Now I'm wondering, if you make this a standstill and you put it in something, it's great. If you were going to glue it down, but then you'd open it up and you would just pull, you have to pull off the journal cards. Sort of like it as a standalone that you'd put in a pocket and you would, you would pull it out and you could, you know, write on it, take it, play with it. So I think we're going to do that. A little bit more stand, more of a standalone piece. No, these are my large journal cards, which yes, they do fit. Barely, probably not. But I'm thinking these guys. They are a little shy. I mean, they're not as wide, so they may move around a little bit, but they are... Oh, they're short. I really wanted something to stick out. Well, those barely fit, and they really stick out, so I might have to cut them shorter. If I use these two, I'm not really cutting off a window. I could use these two, and we could make them a little shorter. I could even cut it, bring it down. You know, so it's overlapped, put some lace. We could make these two work. Because this one has to be one of my journal cards. And I do have some smaller papers. Smaller. <sighs> With some good trimming. It's just tall. And it's just... Might stick out a little bit. But if I do a little trimming, I bet you I could get one of these guys... In the photography, one of the girls in here in this pocket. Do a little bit of trim work. This could work inside here. Okay, so we know that there's those two. I think we're going to use that. This belly band might be helpful. And then I can put little things like this 
one of those cards maybe, tickets, um, and what else did I say? I saw something else. I mean, I have pockets, or I have a pocket. I could go for the pocket that's already existing. But I have all these gorgeous roses that I can use to help soften up and hide the fact. I mean, I have like this baby that could go right across the top, all the way down one side. I've got clusters. We could use this as a background. We could cover this up with other clusters and make this work. So we can bring that in and make it work. So um, I'm trying to see if I, I don't know if I want to cut open any of the pockets to do that with. That one is the right direction. Um, but it might be too big. So, all right. And we're going to use a bit, little bit of this stuff to definitely enhance what is already here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So much fun. All right. Let's see what we can get done. Don't want to lose too much momentum here. See how much I can get done. And then we do another video next week with a fine tuning or decorating or something. You will, or you'll just see it finished. One or the other. So this is to the back. So let's get this edges done and figure out what we need. I always do that. I always don't. I don't press down hard enough for long enough. So no, no, come on. Sometimes it's better to work. From, I also do better just working from the bottom up. I don't know why. Ugh, sorry, that can go underneath. Don't need that whole upper. I just needed to get this. It's mostly this one corner that I need done because I need to get, I want this darker section. Okay, so we have to go to the bottom because we need to be able to cut it off in the corner. And we need to go up to that. Okay. I'm always looking for a spot within the paper. Sorry, my hair, I feel like my hair keeps getting in the way. Apparently I'm poofier than I look. Mm, we're down just a little bit. There we go. I don't have to go all the way over, but I might as well do it. Sorry. So that I got a nice clean, clean piece of paper to work with later. We'll get it over. I'm gonna get a little bit of green in here. That's okay. Let's see. We want to be right there on the edge of the paper. Let's see if we can do this. Do what I need it to do. We don't need to go. Make sure we have a nice little motif here. There we go. Ta-da! So do I have a weird spot in there? I do. Okay. All right. Let's ink it and get her glued down and trimmed. So that way, we have the back, has a little bit of reminiscence of what's going to be on the inside. We'll tie it all together with the fussy cuts and the journal cards and the pocket and stuff like that. And it might just do the job. Now I'm a little tempted to make it darker using a much larger brush and getting some darker ink over it so it's not so white because everything else has no real white to it. It's very, under. there's a lot of undertone. So the only thing that's decorating on top will help us get that white effect but we don't white on the bottom white but yeah let's see if we can make it a little darker it's a little on the white side don't mind a little here and there but compared to the other pages we don't have you know we don't have any real white in those other pages so want to make sure we don't get too far off on the back when we're you know trying to blend it all together it should be somewhat cohesive haha -ha. Ink on the bottom here. But if you follow my porch prints, hopefully on Instagram, um, she did have a post up. Could have been today, could have been a, a day or two ago, but I know she's promoting it starting Sunday, so that is fun to know about if you're wanting some inspiration for some a little bit of fall. There you go, that's better. Not, I mean, it's just like definitely not as white as that was, so there, that helps some. That definitely helps some. So again, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the bag because we don't need every aspect of the, of the piece of paper because we're not going to these, we're going to the edge, but we have corners that we need to take off. So I'm going to try to cover what we need to cover, but not cover what we don't need and waste any product or make it harder than it needs to be. This will definitely help reinforce this edge here of paper, which is usually pretty flimsy. Whoopsie, this is why we try to glue some stuff down. Mm, 
Hopefully this gives you some ideas. And we use the bags a lot. We use file folders a lot. It's fun to make all this standalone um, and unique ephemera with it. And it definitely gives us new materials and it gets us new ways to use things and just, I don't know, just helps reuse stuff too where we're not um, throwing so much away. I didn't quite get that where I wanted that to go, but I'm not trying to pick it up. That glue is sticking today. And it's definitely having some TLC moments. But I'm not stuck about what we might have to do is some washi tape um, edges here. I'm noticing that are I'll have to see how these do. They are glued on the inside, so that should help. But there's edges that I'll have to keep an eye on. Now, I hate to cut things. So let me see if I can... Maybe with the deco edge, I can cut those corners so they match up. What did I do? There it is. Ugh. I would like to not have to try to rip it and rip everything. But I also don't want a straight cut there when we really, not even the bag is very straight cut. Even it has a slight rippled effect on its edges where, um, you know, it's bagged. So we're going to do this. Oops, there we go. We're going to do it over here. Just sort of, there we go. I think I'm going to go across the top because it is a little off, off putting. Like I didn't go straight across as I would have liked. So I think I can sort of even it out and make everything the same sort of duckled feel. And there we go. So this edge is not, you know, bordered or, um, what's the word? But that in, it, it is, hmm, okay. So it's very straight across here, even though I didn't plan it that way. But I can't do anything because I want to open it up. The bottom is not, but... Again, that's what lace is for, trim is for. It's always ways to hide things, help enhance. All right, so there's the back, which helps hold, keep it together and give us a little bit more grounds. That is sort of annoying. So you know what? That light piece of paper we had, I know it doesn't go, but I'm not liking the fact I can see a lot of red. So I'm debating on cutting and gluing in some paper in here. Just a little bit, because I don't really like the idea that um, we can see the red right off the bat. And, you know, journal card and lace may or may not cover that, so let's do just a little bit of, I'm just going to tear and rip so that, or fold and tear, so that, um, fits right in, I hope. Probably not. I did not do enough. Oh, of course not. Never mind. Oh, I was trying. Oh, I was trying. Let's see. Both ends. Wow. I'm really bummed that my... I need to figure out how to... That's just shredding my paper these days. Now I know it's still probably too wide. I don't need all of it. I just need a certain amount. And I don't even need to go all the way in with it. I just need to find a spot and rip off. Because that's going to be really. I mean, I have to use a. I'll use the um, glue stick to put glue on the back of this and then slide it in there the best I can and make it work for us. Probably should ink it before I do that, just so that would have reducey. Um, and blends with everything else the best we can. I didn't do anything to the top here, but <sighs> seriously, goodness gracious. I think it's the top here. It's actually getting dull on the top half, which is really fun because I have a tendency of cutting on the bottom most of the time. All right, a little bit on the edge here, just the top edge, so we, if you see in. Does that work? There we go. Now we'll put it up here. And do I need to... I don't want to do this all over again. I don't want to keep cutting it, but... 
Let's just do this. Since this top edge is pretty straight, we're going to do the same to here and we'll just cut it off. We're just going to cut it off. We're going to keep a. It's all about covering, right? And I guess rationalizing what we're doing and why we do it. I don't know why. I feel like it has to have some kind of like reasoning behind it. It's like, oh, well, that's straight, so this can be straight. Or that's curved, so that has to be curved. That's deckled, so that has to be deckled. I don't know why. That may have to do with my my little OCD side there. Let's see. Okay, so let's get a little bit of ink in here. Did I really? Yeah, I did. Um, that way we are not dealing with too much. Mm. White edging. Since we are definitely not covering every edge. Okay. Do, do, do. But not the fall. I was hoping to get to something. We'll just mention the fact my title will probably not put autumn in there quite yet. Maybe we'll do it in the next one. The next one will actually have the ode too because I haven't got to the fall part. I mean, the background is about it. And we're, yep, we're 51 minutes in. So we will have to come back and I will have to get some stuff sort of um, put together here for you guys. And we will have to work on the journal cards and the or journal tags, the pockets, and we'll get that all cut up and see what we want to decorate. We're going to do the front cover, the front piece here. We need to definitely cover that up and make it look very folly. Let's pull from our Milva Autumn Rose theme here. We're going to decorate it that way so that it, um, work, yeah, that'll work. Okay, there we go. So let's get my bone folder to get in here and press down on the edges that we can't get our fingers in there for without ripping the bag. So there's a little something. So I may still put lace over it, but at least we have blocked more of the red and we don't see it. Here, you're not going to see anything much, too much because we have a pocket and we're going to have stuff tucked in it. So, our upside down, we're going to cover that with Milva Roses. We have the inside that's just cute and we're going to put a pocket here to put some ephemera. This is open now, ready to go to put a journal card in there with a tab. The back is good and the inside has some writing space. And it's going to have two uh, large journal tags that we're going to we're going to modify just a little bit to to be here, but it will stick out, and will be a lovely you know we got something sticking up here, we got st something sticking out here, and it's just a cute little Z fold, you know tri fold, um, a little ephemera holder as an ode to autumn as we are slowly creeping into September, which you know I mean so about a good little over a month before we're officially autumn. But we're all hoping for actually autumn weather here real, real soon. We are good with, we are done with summer already. So, love you all very much. Thank you for watching. As we cover up a pharmacy, the, the actual dentist bag, when they give you all those fun, lovely things. And uh, we are just sort of trucking along with something new real quick. Um, there'll be a little itsy share, autumn share next, uh, next video. And then we'll come back to this one as we get into next week. And away we will go. So love you all very much. Really appreciate you coming along as we work on this, right? Get you something different, a little bit of coloring. And uh, we will talk all very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.